Welcome back to the Sports Mix. Nick Verzellini and Colin McLaughlin here on the show. Countdown is on, and Las Vegas is less than a month away from the big game. This event marks a historic moment for the city, which has grown into a true sports destination over the last decade. Derek Stevens, CEO of Circa Resort and Casino and Circa Sports, is here to tell us all the buzz in Las Vegas surrounding the big game and the sporting events coming throughout the rest of 2024. Derek, uh, we're a month away from the Super Bowl. What can Las Vegas expect when it gets here? Well, hey, great to talk to you guys. Uh, you know, I think uh, next next month when uh, when Super Bowl comes, uh, it's going to just be the biggest one Vegas has ever seen. You know, I would say over the last forty years, Vegas has thrown a lot of big game big game parties, but uh, this year is going to get amped up a bit. I mean, with uh, Vegas getting to host the Super Bowl for the very first time. Uh, you know, I expect 75,000 people at Allegiant Stadium and another 300,000 people at uh, all these unbelievable uh, parties that Vegas is going to throw. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a real, real big, uh, not just day, but really a really big week. Something that hasn't happened before. What makes Las Vegas the uh, perfect city to host the Super Bowl here this year? Well, I think Vegas, Vegas is, uh, you know, it's set up properly. I mean, 160,000 hotel rooms. I think, you know, a brand new stadium, uh, in Allegiant. And, and for those that haven't been to Allegiant, it is a great, great NFL stadium. You, you put these two things together. I mean, obviously NFL wants to celebrate a new stadium. And then, uh, and I think Vegas, who, uh, who's, uh, a, a town that's always prepared for, for a real big, uh, a real big event, uh, is prepared. You know, just recently we just did uh, we just did an F one F one uh, event for the first time. I think when you look at uh, all the different um, nightclubs and day clubs and 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 other venues to be able to watch the game, that also adds to it. Would that makes Vegas really a pre- premier destination for uh, for a big game Sunday? Derek, we mentioned it. You're the CEO of Circa Sports. Uh, what Experiences will your properties be offering during the Super Bowl? You know, just between just within our properties, we're we're hold, hold, holding nine different uh, Super Bowl parties, from you know a two hundred and fifty person kind of intimate party up to uh, you know, a party in the in the Circa Sportsbook, the world's largest sportsbook is at Circa, thousand person party there, a party at Stadium Swim. Which is the uh, the world's first and only aqua theater. So it's uh, it, it's a venue with eight swimming pools, jacuzzis uh, in the winter time, a uh, hundred and forty three foot screen that holds four thousand people. The downtown Las Vegas Event Center, ten thousand person party. So we got parties uh, all, all over the place. So there's a party for every. Uh, every size group and every size budget. Eric, let's now get into the gambling side of things. Sports betting has just absolutely exploded here as of late online. And now to throw into the mix that the Super Bowl, the biggest game of the year in football, is going to be in Las Vegas, the biggest gambling place in the world, arguably, as well. So just talk about, I guess... What you guys will be doing at casinos and different experiences that people can uh, look forward to if they're making it to the big game. Yeah, you know, I think I think the one thing that we're going to see is with the, throughout the country, this will be the most wagered um, uh, Super Bowl game ever. Uh, just as more states have uh, have brought uh, brought legalized sports wagering to their state. I think we're seeing tremendous growth in uh, in in the amount of wagering in, in all these different jurisdictions um, because effectively uh, sports ga- gambling is, is is a good thing for teams. It's a good thing for leagues. It's a great thing for the players and players unions. It's great for media and and for a consumer to watch a game. I think everybody understands you. Uh, you enjoy the game a little bit better, a little bit more, if you put a couple bucks on the game. So I think for all those reasons, you're going to see this as the most wagered game in uh, in um, in Super Bowl history. And I think, you know, it, the fact that it's 
it's being hosted in Las Vegas is just so fitting because this is really where sports betting became prolific, you know, beginning really 40 years ago. So to have uh, have this year's uh, big game up, uh, out here in, in Vegas is just just it's just appropriate. Don't mean to put you on the spot, but as you kind of touched on there, it's expected that this is going to be the most wagered game or most wagered on game. Excuse me. Do you know if there's any estimates out there number wise? Uh, you know, I, I I would just say if you look look back a couple years ago, take a look at that handle. Um, for Nevada, that it'll, it should it should break that should break that record. I think throughout the country, though, uh, because of some additional states, it'll 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 blow through uh, the biggest one, which was last year. When you take into account the uh, additional states, Derek, for a long time, it didn't seem like Las Vegas was looked at as a great sports destination for teams to actually move to and, and have their. Uh, home stadiums there, but it's really grown into that. You mentioned the Formula One race uh, there a few weeks ago. Of course, you have a WNBA team, Stanley Cup champion hockey team, the Raiders being there, and the A's are coming too. So just how has Las Vegas grown, do you think, as a sports destination for franchises? Well, you know, I think, I think um, you know, Las Vegas is pretty well known. It's a great, great uh, city to come to for a convention. Great city to come to for shopping. Great city to come to for shows and for restaurants. And and really, I think it really kind of started with the Golden Knights. You know, when they came here six years ago and had that very storied uh, first, you know, initial expansion season where they made it all the way to Stanley Cup final. Um, it, it's it's really evolved now. Like like you mentioned, I mean, home of the uh, of the WNBA champion Aces, um, doing a major international event like F one. Raiders obviously we have an NFL here. Um, what we've seen in Las Vegas is is that sports tourism has really begun to move the needle. Uh, you know, it's it's amazing when when you see teams from other uh, you know other parts of the country come in. I mean, I I I can just tell you, like you know, when the Washington Capitals come into town, it's amazing. You walk through this town. And you see how many people are wearing Ovechkin, Ovechkin jerseys. It, 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 it is amazing to see when you've got, um, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers in town, how many people are, are, are for anywhere from older jerseys, from Bradshaw, Roethlisberger, to Bettis, to, to, to you know, to current jerseys. Uh, this has really become a, a destination city for people to come and, 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 and watch professional sports. Particularly if the, if your if your team is visiting Las Vegas, Derek, uh, appreciate the shout out to Ovechkin in the Capitals. Us being here in the Eastern Panhandle of West Virginia, the DC region, and affiliate of the uh, Capitals here on our airwaves. So definitely familiar. Back in 2018, against uh, Vegas, winning the Cup there. So, but refocus here on 2024 before we wrap things up. If they can't make it out to the big game, the Super Bowl in Las Vegas, what are some other things that people might be able to come out there and experience here in 2024? Well, I, I would I would just tell everybody go to go to uh, go to CircleLasVegas.com. That'll give you all the information you need for big game weekend. I'll talk to you all about the concerts and all the different events throughout the whole week. And then when you start thinking about about coming out to Vegas. Uh, Remember, as soon as the big game is over, uh, Vegas is holding uh, 10 uh, NCAA basketball tournaments, men's and women's basketball tournaments. Then that goes right into the first week of March Madness. Then it's turned into something that's really started to grow. If you're a, if you're a golf fan, uh, Masters watch parties uh, it's really taken up. Golf wagering has been it's 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 been stunning how how much this is growing. So then you got Masters, uh, of course. Then you got uh, you got uh, NBA, and you've got uh, uh, NHL playoffs, and then all of a sudden we get into from a sports perspective. End of July through August, uh, Vegas is now becoming, I think, the premier destination for fantasy football groups to come together. Fantasy football is now becoming a real significant element of a business at at the D Las Vegas at Circa and uh, and. Uh, 
And that's something that's really exploded right before we get back into uh, football season. All right, Derek, thank you so much for the time and uh, looking forward to the big game in Vegas this year. Great. Great to talk to you guys. Hope to see you guys out here. Thanks.